All right, tree eagles, what's that then? So it's here, it's now, it's game day. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, fucking in the ball! Alright Tree Eagles, what's up then? Enjoying your summer? Now that the dust has settled, let's talk about how I got on at the FBAs, where I was nominated as one of the finalists in my category for best non-league content creator. I weren't even going to make a video on this, or vlog my experience of the awards ceremony, but I thought fuck it, I might never be back here again. So there was 19 different categories, I think. Look, it was a few months back now and I'm old, alright? And we was the third from last to be called. It was a long night, and by that time a lot of people had already lost interest. That category wasn't even sponsored. Because who gives a fuck about non-league shit? They don't count. They get about 12 people turn up at a game and the geese with a dog. So this is how it went. I took a deep breath. I looked at my friends. I was like, it's about to go down. When they eventually got to my category. This is, this is, this is my category. Oh, oh my god. Do you have the speech? Yep, that was Did you get your gracious loser face? <laughs> and the Sophie goes to Gavin Graham from The Young and the Restless. <laughs> So SE Dons picked up the people's vote, a Sunday league side who video their games, and non-league Bible picked up the judges' vote. 10,000 followers on Instagram. I won't go over all the winners in every category, but if you don't follow a big team, you wasn't winning shit. Because everything was won by either someone who supported a premiership side or a championship side. The judges' votes was more of a let's pick who's the most popular out of each category, rather than how good someone's content really is. And I'm not saying that I should have won, and forgive me if I do sound bitter here, but I feel like Luke from NLYT should have won the judges' vote in my category. The guy puts in a lot of effort into his videos. Luke was actually sitting on my table for the night, as well as FA Cup Fact File. Then was later joined joined by Mark from What Mark Does and Gorgi99, who both ended up having two mils on the night. Get in my belly! I do want to give a massive shout out to everyone that put on the event that night at the Etihad, because some people actually paid between 90 to 150 quid to be there. What? What the fuck? I'm not really sure how you can price up them prices. I mean, none of us are really famous. All we do is stick a camera in our face and talk bollocks. And all we got served for were our meal was a match day pie with a little bit of mash. 90 quid. And we didn't even get water put on our table for us. I mean, cattle don't even get treated like that on the way to the slaughter ass. That's embarrassing. And anyone that paid to go to the event had to buy their own drinks as well. Dick move by whoever thought of that genius idea. Unless you was on the VIP table and spunked 150 quid. You was treated like a king with what you got and how you was treated. Disgusting! But it was an alright night. We got to drink as much Carlin as we wanted. By that I mean we was drinking foam. Just gave me flashbacks to all them foam parties I used to go to. them parties. But we got three Pelini stickers! So going forward, FBAs, if I ain't now banned or blacklisted, just an idea. How about for next year's awards, you do categories where people are up against each other at their own level. All premiership vloggers against each other, all championship vloggers against each other, all league one, league two, non-league, all podcasts in the same league up against each other, etc. That way, you've got half a chance of competing with someone in your league. Because I had hashtag United in my category. Now, even though they didn't win anything on the night, Aaron I meant to compete with someone like them and their following. I'll probably still lose to someone called Nathan Holt. No idea who that geezer is. But well done to everyone that did win on the night. Congratulations. And a massive thank you to everyone that did vote for me so I could be there on the night. It was my first time ever being there. It's probably going to be my last as well after this video. I really do appreciate all the support. So next up for me, I'm going to be doing a podcast next Friday. Bees Pod. No idea when that'll be at. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and do all that bollocks. See you later.